now that we have the item numbers already set up where we can easily access them, we're just going to talk about how to output it to a worksheet now. So I'm going to go to Excel. I'm going to create a new sheet and I'm just going to call this, I'm just going to put items and I'm just going to leave it blank. I'm not going to put any kind of header row, although you can, I'm not going to put a header row for this video. I'm just going to do before my do loop, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it row number. I'm going to put row number is equal to zero. And inside the do loop is where I'm going to put row number is equal to row number plus one. So that way, the first time the loop executes, we're going to add an increment of one. So zero plus one is going to give us one as being our first row. If you were going to have a header row, just change this zero to a one. That way, during your first execution row number is equal to row number plus one will give you one plus one which will be two and it's going to be a very simple and short video all we have to do is do sheets and then we're going to put the actual name of the sheet items dot range i'm going to use column a i'm going to do the ampersand and i'm going to put the row number is equal to item number and i'm just going to remove the message box and so now I'm going to hit F5 and execute this code. Bring my window over so we can see it populate. And just if we look towards the left, now we have all the item numbers populate and all the data is being collected from here. But now we can easily see that all the item numbers are here. Now there's a couple of things that you can do. This is entirely up to you. I don't know how you want to work your video or your project, I, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how you want to work on your project, but I'm gonna show you two things that you can do. You can either one, clear the column, or you can just enter data on the very next line where you can see where you see that, it, that it's blank. So I'm gonna show you what you can do. Example number one, I'll do, I'm gonna copy this, before the if statement, or before the do loop, you can do sheets, item range a you can just do a1 to let's just say a nine 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 and you can do dot clear contents this will just clear everything we hit enter data and just pay attention to the back you're going to see it blink really quick you maybe not maybe won't even be able to see it but you won't see it so let me do this I'm just gonna do test 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 so you can see how it's gonna change execute the code I'm gonna hit enter data and in the back you'll see that that's gonna change there you have it so the test strings are no longer there we see the call numbers that's method one where you just clear the column and re output the data or what you can do is this instead of clearing it you can just wait until the next empty row. So you can do row number is equal to row number plus one. And this is what you're going to want to do. You want to do if sheets, item, range, A, and then the row number. Just put if the length is greater than zero, then you just want to do a do loop do do events row number is equal to row number plus one loop until and then you just want to put the length of the sheets is equal to zero this should work let's try it out and before I do that I'm gonna scroll down I'm gonna zoom out of my workbook so we can see it and let's try to execute this code we should get information starting on row 20 so let's just do enter data move the window over so we can see it and then there you have it you see that it started off on row 20 rather than erasing your existing data it started off on the next empty row